New Zealand's biggest design trends this year and next year. Um, New Zealand does follow Europe a little bit, but I think they have a very distinct style of their own. Um, at the moment we're seeing uh, what we're seeing come through from Europe, which I think has always existed in New Zealand, and that's a very strong relationship and appreciation of nature, and that's coming down into um, design, whether that be as a whole or into the bathrooms and the kitchen areas. Um, so nature, in respect to the colours, greens and, and neutrals, or the materials, lots of timber, we're seeing lots of timber, both exterior and interior. Um, Another major trend would be uh, pattern. We're seeing a lot of pattern, whether that be in wallpapers, uh, strong patterns in, in fabrics. And then that's filtering down into the bathroom areas and kitchens with uh, strong patterned tiles. Um, and another uh, trend that I'm kind of seeing come through in New Zealand, or New Zealand picking that up, is a use of sombre tones, so a lot of dark colours, um, blacks and charcoals and dark, um, na neutral, natural kind of browns. So seeing that, and, that, and that's coming again into the, the bathroom and the kitchen areas. A lot of dark kitchens and um, dark tapware coming through, which is interesting. And, and also copper, you can't forget copper. There's a big use of copper. That's been around for a little while, but I think it's becoming stronger in New Zealand. It has been stronger in Europe, perhaps, in Asia, but it's becoming a lot stronger this year in, in um, Australia and, and New Zealand. Hmm, the differences in design and taste between Australia and New Zealand. Um, I think New Zealand likes to really show their difference between their, their big cousin across the ditch and, and create some individuality. And when you see the differences or as a designer, I think that is influenced, one, by the, the, the environment that we're in and the environment will have uh, a different uh, throw of colours as a designer, so you will instantaneously be influenced by colour uh, and, and light. I mean, New Zealand is a lot softer, and I think the environment flows on to the people as a whole, so the, the character of, of the people in a country becomes very influenced by the climate and, and the environment. So I don't think New Zealanders are quite as bolshy as Australians. So the design in New Zealand, I think, is possibly a little bit more refined in that sense. It's not as loud, it's not as bold um, as, as Australia. Our colours are more subtle, and as I mentioned before, there tends to be a lot more blues and greens, which are a softer hue than Australia. You might see a lot more um, red-based colours in their design. New Zealand has a very distinctive style, I believe, when it comes to design in, in architecture and interior design. If I pick up a international magazine and there's a feature on a New Zealand uh, project, instantaneously, without even reading the text, I can tell that that's a New Zealand project. And it's generally um, because of the materials used. Again, we tend to see a lot more natural materials used in New Zealand. There is that use of timber. Um, whether that be integrated into the flooring or, or shelving or feature walls, you'll see the use of timber. Um, New Zealand also likes to use a very modern angular look, which you don't always see in, in the rest of the world.